Hi, this is Muho again aus Osaka. Another question that people ask me frequently is, do I need a teacher? Um, Shakyamuni Buddha obviously studied without a teacher, so it should be possible to study Buddhism Zen without a teacher. And if I need a teacher, how do I find a teacher? Is it possible to study with a teacher online alone or does it have to be a real teacher? And teachers in real life seem to be hard to find. And the ones that I encountered so far, they all seem, seem to be, well, failable. Human beings, none of them were perfect. So if I decide for a teacher, I want a perfect teacher. Where do I find a perfect teacher? And if the answer is that there is no perfect teacher, then maybe I go and study by myself after all. My answer to that question is, um, yes, I think you need a teacher in human form and in real life. But if you decide for yourself that you don't need a teacher, I mean, that's your decision, it's your practice. So if you think, hmm, I don't need a teacher um, or online advice is enough for me, that's your decision. The reason why I think that a teacher is important even though, of course, there's no perfect teacher. So, even though there's no perfect teacher, still it's important to have an imperfect teacher, because even an imperfect teacher can see when you go wrong, and even an imperfect teacher can help you to um, destroy that bubble that you like to live in. And as I said in the last video, sometimes even this idea of I'm enlightened. I got something. I realized certain things through my practice. Even that is a bubble. And especially in moments where you think that you grasped, grasped something, you need a teacher to help you out of that bubble. Um, and as Uchiyama Roshi said, sometimes even your spouse or your children can be a teacher in those moments when they say, hey dad or hey mom, you're not as enlightened as you think you are. But with family members, we usually mm, don't want to listen because we know that they are just as, as unenlightened as we are. So it's a great gift if you can find a teacher whom you trust, even if he tells you things that sound unpleasant to your ears. And if you have a teacher that only tells you things that you like to hear, and that always affirms your own thoughts and your own opinions, then I'm afraid that's not a good teacher. You need a teacher and you need especially a teacher that tells you at the right time exactly those things that you don't want to hear. So a teacher can, in a way, a little bit be like pain during Zazen. Um, you cannot deal with it. You cannot deal with him or her. They confront you. And of course, it's also important to never forget that they're also just human beings. They're not perfect. Um, but even though, 
you realize that the teacher is not perfect. Probably the teacher just as clearly or even more clearly sees your mistakes. So rather than trying to correct the mistakes of the teacher first, hmm, allow the teacher to help you to succumb to reality, to the reality of your own life. Okay, thank you for watching. See you. Bye.